Hey guys, I'm Mari Ray and welcome back to more of The Sims 3 Adventure Sim Challenge. Now, if you read the title, then you know what I'm going to say. I swear I did not cheat, okay? Uh, you guys know how long and hard I had been searching for Wuhuyum and Pinky Diamond, like, a lot, alright? To the point where the episode started to get so repetitive, I was like, I'm gonna play off camera so that you guys aren't seeing me do this all the time. And I was like, oh yeah, you know, I'll record it so if we find it, we can share the moment together. So I decided to stream the Adventure Sim Challenge because sometimes when I'm playing off camera, I will do that. So I was streaming on Saturday and guess what we found, guys? Guess it. Just guess it. We freaking found Woohoo! I was so happy because I was just ranting about how in the For the Realm challenge, if you watched that one, um, I found Woohooium with Mal when he was sculpting and I was like, why couldn't this be the Adventure Sim challenge? Because that's where I really, really need this, this stupid metal, but I couldn't freaking get it and I couldn't find it. And I think that Mal was foreshadowing. We, we've decided in the chat of the stream that Mal was foreshadowing that we would find it here because I was just like, Lucas, just do a couple, you know, conversion ritual spells and they hadn't produced anything to us that's more expensive than like a moonstone and a sunstone. And then boom. We got Wuhuyum. I was, I freaking flipped my head. I was so happy, but then I was like, I, I'm not recording. We don't, we don't have this moment to share with the people on YouTube. They're not going to believe me. They're going to think I cheated. So Diego very nicely went and grabbed a clip of it because it was just me and Diego as far as I knew. If anybody else was there, they weren't really talking much, which is fine. But as far as I knew from chat, it was just Diego and I. So I'm like, what the heck? What are we going to do? I, they're not going to believe me. They're going to think I cheated or something. And so he grabbed the clip of it, which I'll show you guys right now so that you can see that I wasn't cheating. I'm not lying. All right. I, I'll show you guys that. Give me one second because a lot of stuff happened because on top of that, you guys, guess what? Lucas is pregnant. Yeah, that's right. It came out of left friggin' field. Okay, you guys remember when I tweaked the Risky Boohoo chance because I was like, ah, eh, they want to have another kid, so fine, I'll let it be, you know, like a little bit of a higher percentage. Yeah, that was a mistake because she's apparently, I don't know when she got pregnant, but she showed not a symptom. Like, she never got morning sickness. She never had cravings. She was like, never shown any sign of the fact that she was pregnant until randomly during stream, mind you, she just got out of bed and was like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm totally pregnant again. So they're expecting a second baby. Uh, I don't expect them to have a lot of kids. I didn't intend for them to have a lot of kids. So I turned back down the risky woohoo chance because apparently it was a little too aggressive. So I turned it back down to like 1% again. If they have another child after this, it will literally be like like a miracle because for 60 something episodes we played with risky boohoo at one percent and nothing happened so if they have another child after this child i swear it will be like a legit miracle okay um but yeah i i can't do much with her while she's pregnant as you guys know because of the fact that she she's pregnant we can't do much so we're not going to do a lot of travel so the episodes once again they're going to slow down so i'm going to play some more off camera i may or may not stream it or i may just play it on my own because i'm going to do like last time i will play up to really close to when she's going to have the baby and then we'll do an episode together so that everybody can share that moment together so if you have any baby names that you want to give please do um i i if you don't that's cool. I can come up with a name. Uh, I got the traditional what my Sims do, which is that she wants a girl, he wants a boy. So I'm going to try my hardest to not influence the gender of the baby by any way possible. I have avoided her eating any apples and uh, watermelons as of right now. So I'm going to try to not influence the gender of the baby as best as possible. So uh, whatever happens, happens. If you guys want to give me names, then please do. If you don't, then no big deal. Uh, I'll come up with something, I am sure. But this episode, guys, I'm super excited because I want to try to find that pink diamond now because of this little stone right here. So I'll show you guys the clip now of when we finally found this Wuhuium. So let's just. It's freaking awesome. I love it. Oh, is this oh my god, is this Wuhuium? Please tell me that that's what that is. It looks red. Oh my god, I will be so happy. Please hey, tell me YouTube. This is Diego like saying, hey, is YouTube. Diego saying, hey, YouTube. We did it. Oh my god, it's Wuhuyum. We did it, guys. Freaking yes. We did it. I Freaking don't believe it. Too. Yes. It's amazing. Oh my god. I love it. <laughs> I'm saving the game. I'm so saving the game right now. So as you see, I'm not lying. It was totally legit. It was 100% legit. I, I try to play everything in this challenge legit. I try not to do any 
cheats or anything like that as best as possible. I mean, there's been times when I've had to reset people. I've had to teleport people. And I believe one time in Egypt, I used the NRAS to get rid of a lady's job because she was a paparazzi and she wouldn't stay at home and I needed her to be at home. So there's some scenarios where I'll interfere, but I try my hardest not to, especially in terms of the collection journals. I have to collect a lot of this stuff legit and it's been taking so long to get our hands on freaking woohooium, you guys. But if you look here in our book, we have found 100, 100%, 100% of all of our medals, you guys. I'm so happy, all right? We got 96% of the gems, but that's just because that elusive, elusive pink diamond still is hiding from us. We need to find that pink diamond. Oh my God, that's another one that I'm not selling. It's gonna stay with me on display constantly. I'm taking it everywhere with me because it took so long to get woohooium, it's coming with me. All right, but we got 100%. Everything's lit up, guys. We got 100%. You see it here. It's a testament of how hard we worked because I plan on moving their worlds, possibly moving them. And if anything it says I didn't collect it, you guys can see it here now in this episode. We ain't lying. We collected one of everything because I do know the bugs freaks out like that sometimes in terms of like fireflies and stuff where we definitely caught every single firefly, but the game does not show that we've caught every single firefly. So, you know, uh, some things get wiped. Same thing with seashells. So just just to make sure everybody knows and can see for sure for sure We've collected one at least one of every single type of metal So I'm really really excited about that Apparently we're having another baby in the challenge too So that's another thing that's going to be happening too So lots of stuff to look forward to right now but uh, Lucas is waking up here. She's going to go ahead and get her day started. And uh, I think that, of course, we're going to look for Pink Diamond this episode. That's going to be one of our goals. But our friends are also expecting a baby really soon here. We checked up on the end of stream, by the end of stream, on Mona and Enzo, who announced that they were having a baby a while back. And I was kind of confused because I didn't know if they were still pregnant or not. They are, in fact, still pregnant. And they've announced, uh, not announced, but we checked on her and Mona's super pregnant. She's like really big pregnant. So I expect that she'll be having her baby pretty soon here, actually. So um, I think that maybe we'll go pay them a visit if she has the baby this episode. I don't know. She looked really pregnant when we checked on her in stream, so she might. Uh, if she does, we'll go pay them a visit to go meet their new bambino because they're some of our best friends here. And... Um, then we're going to keep on that grind for Pink Diamond, which, by the way, uh, because I want to tell you guys, we did place a spawner. I think Diego did a little bit of research, and apparently Pink Diamond only spawns from Epic Spawners, so we placed one on this lot here uh, and had absolutely no luck from it. There's only one spawner there. I didn't want to, like, flood the lot with a ton of spawners and potentially have a greater chance. We only put one spawner, so there is a percentage that we might get a Pink Diamond spawn because I don't know if there was any of those around the world where we could potentially get it. So since people seem to find with me placing some spawners that may or may not be in the world, we placed one there. We have not had any luck yet, obviously. Maybe we'll get lucky this episode uh, since we got lucky last time, uh, as you saw in that clip. But for now, these guys are going to get themselves ready for this morning. I'm going to get them all fed, get them all breakfast and stuff like that. And uh, we'll see what we can get into today and what we can find. So guys, I think I spoke too soon uh, because as Lucas was coming in here to get the baby who is being really, really fussy, look at the messages that we just got, guys. Enzo is now the father of a new baby boy. Mona just gave birth to a baby boy named Errol. Oh, look at guys, she had a little boy. Ah, that means that little baby Beryl could also have a good friend there. I will consult with Diego to see if he's fine with that baby's name or if he wants to change it because Enzo and Mona are his sims. They are his babies and his creation. So if he wants to change their names then I will change their baby's name but it looks like they had a little boy oh Beryl can have himself a good friend that's gonna be so cute because when I move them I plan to move Mona and Enzo with them guys so if I move worlds what I'll do is I will temporarily put Mona and Enzo in our family so that they can come with us and then I will move them out once we get to the new world so that they can have their own household and stuff like that like they are right now but that way we'll keep our relationships because they would have moved with us from here they're really the only relationships that I care about retaining from this world so it's not a big deal for me if we lose anything else so let's go ahead and plop little baby beetle on the floor here so he can go take care of himself Lucas is gonna get some breakfast and I guess that that solidifies our plans of what we're doing today at least we're gonna go visit our friends so that we can meet their brand new baby because yeah 
yeah okay they had a new baby so lucas is gonna get herself ready it's like 6 a.m so uh we won't go right now because it's 6 a.m uh we'll give them some time to wake up and hopefully they'll be at home because they're never at home so um i'm gonna get her started with her day get her eating uh omar just finished eating let's get him upstairs to feed the baby after the baby goes to pee and uh we'll do a little bit of household chores just to pass some time and then uh, we'll head over to their house to go pay them a visit Okay, guys, so it looks like Mona and Enzo are at home, finally, for once, because they are never at home, okay? But these guys have come over to come pay them a visit. He wants to chat with Lucas? Of course you can chat with Lucas. Let's go over here, though, and come pay our good friends a visit so that we can meet their new bambino, because, you know, we have to, we have to meet them. We're waiting outside. I saw Mona uh, inside, so she's definitely Whoa. here. Oh, oh, she's got the baby in her hands. Look, it, Omar, stop being an ass. No, 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 no. Just stop being an asshole, okay? You're being a dick. Oh. Just quit it. Okay, I'm sorry. He just, he likes to be a douche oh, all the time. Look, he's heckling a baby. He is heckling a child. Omar, Omar, my God. Okay, whoever told me that his nickname is asshole was 100% correct. Omar is such a douche to, to everybody, okay? At that point, he was even going to be mean to Lucas because he's just in a bad mood today, apparently. I don't know what his problem is, but we are here to see little baby Errol. Oh, guys, look. He's so cute. He looks like he's going to look like Mona, possibly. She's coming to get him, so we can't really pick him up to talk to him, but he looks like he's going to look like Mona, possibly. Let's go chat with Omar and ask him what the heck his problem is like what is going on with you right now why are you acting like a jerk because he's Omar that's probably the legit answer as to why I don't think they have a crib in this house oh no whoa his head is freaking out all right I might have to change his hair too but it looks like they don't have a crib in this house I think that both of them sleep in this bed over here so what I'll do for now, temporarily, is just put a crib right here so that they have a crib for their baby because they can't be putting a baby on the floor, okay? It looks like Enzo's also not at home, but Mona has stuck around, but Enzo stepped out, you know? He probably had to get some fresh air. He's freaked out. He's a brand new dad, you know? I'm gonna fix their baby because, wow, that, that hair glitch is a thing. I keep meaning to take those hairs out of the game because they glitch like that, and it's annoying like that you guys saw the weird this 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 thing right here yeah that's a that's a hair glitch so i'm gonna go ahead and remove those things from the game uh, i have to remember to do so but um let me just put a little crib in their house just so that they have a place to put their baby like i said i'm probably going to be moving worlds and they're coming with me so i'll place their house down i don't know i'll ask diego if he's interested in maybe uh maybe reconfiguring their house to add a nursery if not i'm pretty sure i can edit i'll edit this room one it's a little bit smaller uh so i can edit it maybe to look like a nursery uh and stuff for them i'll do it for real like legit when i move because i don't want to do it all now and then like you know m potentially move them later so i'll do it uh, once we're we're ready to move but for now i'm just gonna put them a crib up here in this room since i think they sleep over there just so that their baby's not on the floor uh and i'll fix that hair glitch so i'll be right back guys Okay, guys, so I have added a little crib upstairs. Like I said, it's all temporary. Nothing up here is uh, like going to stay this way. But for now, there's just a little crib up there so they don't have to put their baby on the floor. And in Mona's little arms here, I've tweaked him. I don't think this hair has the same glitch as the other one. I don't see it happening. So I think that this one might be good. So a little baby... Uh, Errol, I was gonna call him Ellis, that's his last name, I'm sorry, <laughs> little baby Errol um, doesn't have that hair glitch anymore, and he's wearing a little romper because I thought it was cute, so he's all good now, um, maybe uh, when Mona has some time, we can pick him up and give him a snuggle and, and get to know the baby just a little bit, but right now, she watching TV, y'all, um, why is there water on the floor, you know what, she might have had the baby right there, that's fine, but I think for now, they're just gonna hang around the house, they're gonna chat with Mona for a little while, you know, just congratulate them on their brand new baby, and stuff like that and uh yeah i think that's how we're gonna spend our day today so these guys are gonna chat with her and see what she's sunlight charm oh at least you're being nice okay are you casting this on omar or are you just oh no on herself okay well go ahead girl she's like hey i'm like the friggin sun oh my god she literally is glowing like the friggin sun protection charm she's just casting charms on herself i've never seen her do this before but okay uh she's just making herself in a good mood it looks like uh mona is probably going to put the baby in the new crib that we just got to yes yes i want to see 
you're fine, Lucas. She's still going through a midlife crisis, you guys. Lucas is, is having a moment. She's having she's having a bit of a moment. I think she is going to put him in the crib. Yes, she is. Look at that, guys. She's using the new crib that we bought them. Oh, so cute. Okay, I think that now that she's put him down, we can maybe go upstairs and get to know him just a little bit. So maybe we should go upstairs and give the baby a little snuggle. Are you casting a charm on Omar? No, he's going to watch TV. All right, let's maybe go upstairs and meet the baby and just so that we can have him in our relationship panel because I don't think we do unless we actually interact with them. Yes, so let's go meet him so that we'll have the baby in our relationship panel. We'll spend a little bit of time here with Mona. I imagine that, you know, they're teaching her a little bit about being a new mommy. She's a brand new mommy and they've already had their baby for a while. Um, So we're just going to hang out here for a little while with her and uh, yeah, we will be back in a little bit. Hey, cool. All right, guys. So they've been hanging out with Mona all day, and it looks like she's leaving because she looks like she has to go to work or something. I can't really tell, but she's leaving for the day, so they're probably going to be put out here in just a second. But Lucas was practicing her magic just because, you know, times had slowed down, and the baby was uh, in the bed, and they got to meet the baby. It's pretty awesome. Look at her making that face. Look at her making that face. But um, basically, though, uh, she's at the peak of her spellcasting game, and no one can top her magical powers. To prove it, Lucas can challenge the very powers of death lucas can raise the dead from their graves with the reanimation ritual so that's pretty cool uh but she's at the top of her witch casting spell game here so that's pretty cool i think that mona is leaving so let's plan to get these two out of here and omar's kind of hungry he was just playing chess they were all just hanging around they both got to meet the baby little baby errol um he's so cute uh she got to play with him a little bit and omar got to play with him a bit so they got to meet him and uh, say hi to their friend and at least one of them because Enzo's not at home. So let's maybe get these guys out and maybe they can go grab themselves a bite to eat or something. Um, can we eat here with our group? So let's just go grab a bite to eat with these guys. And then uh, I think I'll have them head home and we'll end the day for today. Uh, actually, let me track gems and medals and see if our little spawner has potentially... Ooh, it gave us something. What is it? What is it? It's... Ooh, it's like it's pink color. Is this pink diamond? Oh my, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. We're gonna disband the group now. Uh, hold on, hold on. I, I gotta go see if this is Pink Diamond. Please let this be Pink Diamond. Oh, she's going outside to play that. That's fine. Omar, go home. You can eat at home. I'm sorry. Now, now, now I'm like hyper focused. Is this Pink Diamond? Is this Pink Diamond? Please tell me this is Pink Diamond. I will be so happy if this is Pink Diamond. Oh, please, Spawner, come through for me, please. Spawner, come through for me, please. It looks pink under the snow. Please, please. Be pink diamond. Be pink diamond. Pink diamond. Oh, it was just Tanzanite. I couldn't tell because of the colors. It was just Tanzanite. Now I'm all sad. <laughs> I was hoping that it would be pink diamond. Mm. Boo. Of course it wasn't pink diamond. Anyways, I guess I'll go pick up some of this stuff that's hanging around. Maybe we'll do some conversion rituals. I don't want to go to this lady's party, so I'm not going to go to that lady's party. I didn't even tell her I was coming. I don't know why she still called me anyway. I thought that I was clear that I didn't have any intentions of going when I didn't respond to you. But I'm just going to go ahead and collect a couple things. Maybe we'll play around with some conversion rituals back at home for the night, but I don't intend to do much for the rest of the day. Uh, they're going to head home, eat some dinner, head to bed, and I'll catch you guys in the morning. Maybe we'll get lucky, get our hands on some pink diamonds. Maybe we won't. Who knows? But we'll have to see. All right, guys. Good morning. So I think today what we're going to work on doing is maybe trying to do some conversion rituals, which she did last night, but we only got this toad. So we're going to keep doing conversion rituals from there. Uh, see if we can maybe get lucky, do some household chores. I don't expect a lot to happen, but look, guys. Enzo, wait. There we go. Enzo actually grew up. He had a birthday yesterday. We weren't invited to no part. No, I'm just kidding. He left the house. So, he, but he apparently has aged up into a fully mature adult, like they are. So, they're, uh, he's about matching their age. These guys just live for a super long time because, well, she wished for it, and Omar just naturally lives for a very long time because he's a genie, just like their baby, which is why their baby has not aged up yet because he also lives for a long time so he actually has 11 to 10 more days so i feel like he might be aging up maybe around the time lucas has the other baby or maybe a little bit after maybe a little bit before i i don't know but we'll have to see uh definitely we'll celebrate his birthday together uh i can see her starting to show a little bit with their little tum tum guys it's starting to show just a bit so today or this ep not this episode today we're gonna work on trying to see if we can get pink diamond uh to to 
fall into our hands. Uh, I don't see anything else at our spawner, so I guess we'll play around with some conversion ritual spells and stuff like that and see what we can do, what we can't do. If we get lucky or if we don't get lucky, but I don't really have any other plans outside of that. We're going to do some chores, some cleanup. Our doggo is sitting there looking all cute. And we got, obviously got some dirty clothes that we need to clean up and stuff like that. So that's the plan for now. I'll let you guys know if anything interesting happens. But if it doesn't, and uh, in the episode, it might be a shorter episode. It might be, might be around the same time. Who knows? But what I will do is play some off camera because I do, in fact, want to... Uh, Play through a lot of Lucas's pregnancy because it gets really dull, especially once she starts doing the pregnant waddle, which she's looking like she's getting to that point where she might start doing soon. I can see her tummy starting to stick out, you know, so she may be getting to the point where she might start doing the pregnant waddle soon. And when that happens, she moves really slow, so everything slows down. So I'll probably play some off camera at that point and uh, we'll have to see where we go from there. So I'll let you guys know if anything interesting happens, but for now, I'm gonna get these guys going for the day and uh, I'll be back in a little bit later. Okay guys, so I've been converting like all day, okay? This is a butterfly that we've not caught before, but I know for a fact that this stuff does not count whenever we pick up stuff from conversions and it sucks because this is definitely a butterfly that I'm pretty sure we have not caught before. Uh, a rainbow butterfly. Uh, is that, yeah? Is that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Like, we've definitely never caught a rainbow butterfly before. Uh, but I guarantee you it does not count whenever I try to pick this up or anything like that. I am gonna see, I don't know if we can, when we get around to cloning things, uh, in the, um, science skill, which I've been slowly kind of working on in the background, if at some point we can make them count. So all I did there was just do a bunch of conversions until I got high quality gems, all of them being sunstone it looks like. Except for this, how come I can't? Are these not sunstone? How come some of them I can just randomly pick up and others I have to collect? I don't know, that's really weird, but let's go ahead and collect these right there. But I don't know if I can clone insects and if that would count when I clone insects. Which, by the way, you guys remember I mentioned the pregnant waddle. She's got it already, so she's already doing the pregnant waddle. So I will be playing some stuff off camera. And I think all I'm going to do is maybe focus on that science skill to get to the point where we can start to clone things. Because if we can clone, uh, like, this bug and it make it count, then... We know our way of potentially doing that. So I don't know if it counts or not. So she's going to go ahead and try to grab the DNA of this thing. Our baby's super hungry. Omar, I thought you were feeding him. I was watching what he was doing and I thought he was feeding the baby. I guess I was wrong. But she's got the like DNA now of this type of butterfly. So what I'm going to be curious to see is that if we can get around to cloning, does it count towards the collection journal? Because... I don't know. I really don't honestly know. So I think that what I'll do while she's pregnant here and we're dealing with, you know, the pregnant waddle syndrome where she walks really, really slow. I think that I'm going to work on maybe trying to get to the point where she can clone in the science skill, which is really boring. Basically means I'm going to have her researching science a lot every day. And then we'll have to do a test run to see if it counts when she clones an item towards her collection journal because there's lots of ways to get to these bugs and insects and all this other types of stuff but it doesn't always count towards the collection journal which is what we need excuse me child go use the bathroom and stop crying i'm trying to talk here and in the episode i know that this might be a short episode because we really didn't do much uh we did a lot of conversion spells and stuff we went to see our friends who just recently had a baby and apparently got into a fight with each other i was reading a lot of the pop-ups that came up and it said that they erupted into a fight on the side of the street i guarantee you it's because enzo's just as like jerkish as omar can be that they're both a hole sometimes and like even omar was like trying to start an argument with lucas the other day so you know it happens from time to time with those guys. They're hot-headed, uh, hot-blooded, hot-headed individuals. And it, it just, they get aggravated sometimes. Uh, all right, let's clean up everything. That, and her phone, I think, stopped ringing before she even answered it. So that's nice. No, freaking Jeffrey Landgraf, get out of here. Okay, no. But um, I am out of time for recording. So I'm going to have to end the episode here. And it's pretty much the end of the day. Who the heck is this guy? And she wants to train Pablo. Who? No. Um... She wants to gain the woohoo skill and she wants to gain the science skill, but I feel like we're going to do science before woohoo, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And we're going to, I guess, play with magic. No, 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 we're not going to do that. Who? Why do you guys want to randomly train Pablo? Who is Pablo? Why? 
Freaking why? I don't know. Let's make the house sparkly, spotless, pay all our bills and stuff. And I'm going to get these guys in bed pretty much. It's time for them to head to bed. Uh, very much so. And um, I think that I'm going to end the episode here. So we didn't actually get anything like we were expecting or well, like I was expecting. I didn't honestly expect that we'll find what we were looking for. So we didn't get the pink diamond. I thought I did for a minute there and I got super excited, but we didn't. She's got her pregnant waddle on. So I'm going to play some off camera. I may or may not stream it. I might just play it in my spare time whenever I have some time. So I don't think I'm going to stream it. But um, I'm just going to play up until the point where I think she's getting close to having her baby. And then I am going to come back in for another episode so that we can do the babies together. Uh, because babies, when they're born, I like for you guys to see them. So once once she has her baby, um, we'll, we'll come back together so that we can do the babies together. Because I like to do that uh, with you guys. Other than that, uh, not too eventful this episode and probably on the shorter side. So I apologize for that. But I guess this is more like an update for you guys. Uh, and uh, yeah. I'm going to end the episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a like or don't. That is up to you. But I do hope that you'll come back and join me for more of the Sims 3 Adventure Sim Challenge here on the channel. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.